Thor News presents What is Disturbing Things Out of Our Asteroid Belt? Well, if you've been keeping track like I have, we have had a large uptick in meteors, meteorites, and fireballs in the last two years. The number has gone up exponentially. Now, several people will point to the fact that our cameras have gotten better, technology's gotten better. So somehow, in the last two years, better cameras have caused us to see fireballs in the sky with our eyes and um caused a 2000 percent uptick in the last few years over meteorites that doesn't make any damn sense but that doesn't matter it doesn't seem like anything in our society makes any damn sense anymore so i'm gonna throw a theory out there it's just a theory you can debunk it all you want baby but i'm guessing maybe it's the alignment and the co-orbits of Ceres and vesta the two largest asteroids in our inner an outer solar system that we know of. Vesta is the goddess of the hearth, and Ceres is the goddess of agriculture and motherly love. Hello, ladies. What is the asteroid belt? The asteroid belt is a fashion accessory our solar system wears so its inner solar system pants don't fall down and expose their junk to the universe. And they could not handle seeing the inner solar system's private part. No, that is not true. I made that up. Okay, now to the serious bit. The asteroid belt is a region of space between the orbits of Mars and Jupiter, where most of the asteroids in our solar system are found orbiting the sun. The asteroid belt contains millions of asteroids. Non-pseudo-astronomers and scientists think that the asteroid belt is made up of material that was never able to form into a planet or the remains of a planet which got smashed to bits a very long time ago. The asteroids in the asteroid belt come in a variety of sizes. Small, medium, large, and supersized. Some are very small, less than a mile. Some are quite large, like Ceres, which is about one quarter the size of our moon. Well, so I'm gonna go ahead and guess that if we look at the orbits of Ceres and Vesta with them almost being side by side, together. So Ceres and Vesta are knocking crap out of there like two bowling balls. And part of the reason that Ceres and Vesta were not made planets when the IAU decided to not make them planets after consideration in 2006 is the fact that they hadn't cleared their orbit. Now, clearing your orbit is really kind of bogus because if the Earth keeps getting hit with crap, is it, can we really say that we've cleared our, our orbit? I mean, can you ever really clear an orbit? Uh, no. So, I'm proposing that what I'm saying, due to the orbits of Ceres and Vesta, side by side, they are the ones knocking crap out of the asteroid belt because they are in the process of clearing their orbit. Um, I know NASA has a lot of highfalutin fancy orbital data is tracking everything but the question is is do they track everything in comparison to the reactions of Ceres and Vesta? Now of all the asteroids we know Ceres is asteroid number one which means the biggest asteroid in our solar system and Vesta is asteroid number four meaning the fourth found asteroid in our solar system. Now both were so big they were found in the 1800s makes one wonder if our technology at times makes us lazy. Now Vesta is the second most massive asteroid after dwarf planet Ceres, and it compromises an estimated 9% of all the mass in the asteroid belt. Vesta has some of the largest mountains in the entire solar system in the Resilvia crater. Did you know that? You do now. You're welcome. Um, it'd be great to go ski in there. I love to snow ski. You go to the top of the mountain, ski all the way down. That's some of the funnest stuff you can do on planet Earth. Vesta has a mean diameter of 525 kilometer. 520. Vesta has a mean diameter of 525 kilometer kilometers and 326 miles. Whereas Ceres, Ceres has a mean diameter of 960 kilometers or 590 miles in diameter. Though I would guess that Ceres' size here is an estimation, considering we haven't gotten a new photograph of it in nine years. But we covered that in the other video. So yeah, that's just it. That's my guess. That these two giant planetoids are coming around the band, coming around the mountain, if you will, together, side by side. And there's a chance maybe they are knocking crap out. And one of the reasons that, and, and, and one thing that makes me think I may have hit a hot button here, is that one of the reasons the Dawn spacecraft was first sent to Vesta, and then will be sent to Ceres in 2015, is scientists wanted to get Vesta's exact mass so they could study gravitational interactions better, so that scientists could refine the mass estimates of asteroids that are in turn perturbed by Vesta and Ceres. So part of the main mission that they sent Dawn over there for is to see on what level and what scope that Ceres and Vesta would be disrupting the asteroid belt. So NASA was kind of worried about these two large solar bodies 
disrupting stuff in the asteroid belt. Well then, that's, that's, that's a good reason to think that, hey, maybe they are disrupting stuff from the asteroid belt. Now, this is way less doomy than a Planet X scenario. This just means that these two planets, women who aren't getting enough attention, are gonna be causing a little bit of trouble here on Earth. How much trouble, we don't know. Um. But we'll find out. But it is interesting. The more I learn about Vesta and Ceres, the more I love those ladies. Yes. Yes, indeed. Anywho, cool. So, in conclusion, for my thesis summary of my theory, we're going to look at the facts. Ceres and Vesta are giant, side-by-side, side, and both female. Sounds to me like they could most definitely disturb and perturb many, many things in the asteroid belt. And Ceres might still be mad that she had been a planet for 50, 100 years and then she got demoted. So, uh, woman scorned, you know. So blame the IAU if you want. They're the ones who piss these women off. If we see an uptick in larger asteroids coming around the bend, smack, smack, titty tag. All right, thanks for watching. Have a great day. And God bless all the soldiers who fell fighting for honor, truth, and justice. Though, let us honor their memories by figuring out a way to end all war all over the planet. God bless everyone.